haven't done this in so long that I'm out of breath. That's a problem. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It feels like it's been forever since I filmed, probably because it has, but I'm very excited to be back. I have a few videos coming up here shortly, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on those. Um, I have another hair tie video, a legging video, and you know, since the world's kind of stuck at home right now, what better time to film some videos? And I've had a few things sitting around for a little bit of time, um, so I wanted to definitely sit down, film those, and let you guys know what's been going on. So um, today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a deodorant review video. I'm actually really excited about this. So quick story, um, I am pregnant, I'm due in June. Um, when I first found out I was pregnant, I was very fortunate. I really had no morning sickness, no like typical first trimester stuff. Um, the only thing that I really experienced was kind of like smell aversions or food aversions. And that kind of also translated into like body products as well. So I, up until that point, I was using natural deodorant and I was using Miro and um, Native kind of back and forth. Um, but I couldn't stand the smell, especially of Native. Just It was just something sensitive about me. Um, I had no issues before getting pregnant, but it just, there was something that switched, couldn't stand like the heavy essential oil smells. So um, I switched back to a conventional deodorant and I was feeling really guilty about it. So when this company reached out to me, um, I was really excited because this product is unscented and I thought like that was that was perfect for me because I wanted to get back into wearing a natural deodorant, but I couldn't find one that I really wanted to wear. Um, so I was very, very pleased that I was, you know, sent this product. So full disclaimer, this is not sponsored, but they did send it to me. Um, so this is the Naked Thai Crystal Deodorant from Vasari. So um, I'm gonna run through my typical list of deodorant questions and then we will kind of dive in there. Real quick before I do that though, I want to talk about like an update on Miro and Native. Um, Miro is in the trash. So I've had just a breakup with it. I was done, I was over it. It had been sitting on my bathroom counter it was like melting and I couldn't get the pod in the container. So I know I was probably doing something wrong, uh, but I was really frustrated with it. And the fact, even more so than I couldn't get it into the container, I don't know, maybe if like one of the little spokes on the bottom was broken where it's supposed to like lock in, um, I was frustrated at the fact that it was just like melting. So I would try to put it on my skin and it was just like goopy. And I was like, I'm, I'm over it, like done. Threw it in the trash and I haven't looked back since. Um, Native, on the other hand, like I said, I really haven't been using because of the, the smells. Um, I also started noticing, and I don't know which deodorant caused this because I've been using a few in the past year. Um, so I can't blame it on one or the other. Um, I don't, it could have been, I've tried a few on my channel, so it could have been any one of the few that I've tried. But I was starting to notice that some of my clothes were smelling weird and I'm curious if anybody else has had this or if they've noticed like it's one particular brand because I haven't been able to narrow it down. But I was noticing that my my clothes had like, a, I don't know how to describe it, almost like just a dingy smell, even though they were clean. Like I would take them out of the dryer and they just had like a weird smell in the armpit area and it just smelled like I didn't even wash my clothes. So I feel like there was one of the, de the deodorants was leaving like a residue on the fabric and then I just couldn't get it out. So leave a comment down below if you've noticed that as well. And if you noticed it's with one particular brand or the other, I'm really just curious. Okay, so let's jump into the Thai Crystal Deodorant um, from Vasari. So you can purchase this on Amazon and through their website, which is vasari.com. So I'll leave a link below to both of those. They're not affiliate links. Um, but I just want you to be able to get to them pretty quickly. I don't know if this is in stores. I've never seen it in a store before, um, but right now it's going on Amazon for $11.99. So we're gonna talk about what you get in the box. Um, this came directly from Vasari, but it looks like what you get on Amazon is the exact same thing. So you get this nice box. It comes with a little bag, the full-size deodorant, 
and a travel size, which I think is really nice. And then the instructions. So I do think it's a little bit up there in price, but I would say it's kind of comparable to Native. Like Native is like what, like 10 or $11 at Target. Um, and this you get a full size plus a little travel size. I could do without the bag. Like I really don't need that. That's just gonna go in the trash and I kind of hate wasting stuff, but I'm not gonna use it for anything. So right on here, it does tell me when it was manufactured, which was in uh, February of 2019 and it expires in January of 2024. So it has a really long shelf life. And I feel like this is gonna last a really long time just because it is a hard, solid product. Um, and it's not like a liquid, it's not like a typical deodorant. So I feel like it is gonna last you a long time. So what you pay for what you get, I think is a good value. So we are going to look really quickly at the instructions, talk about what it says, its claims, all of that. So it says our natural body deodorant is made of 100% natural mineral salts from the heart of Thailand. It neutralizes the bacteria that causes odor without clogging your pores. It is effective for up to 24 hours. It dries instantly and leaves no white residue. It will not stain your clothes and just like all of our products is not tested on animals. So as we walk through all of my typical deodorant questions, we'll talk about if those claims were accurate or not. So really quick on how to apply it, you do have to get it wet. So you twist off the top. It does have a twist at the bottom to raise and lower it. So the directions for use are apply water to the crystal stick and rub 25 to 30 times under left arm, apply water to the crystal stick and rub 25 to 30 times under the right arm. Must be applied to clean skin and for best results use after the shower. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into my questions. One, the smell of the product. All right, we already kind of talked about that. Um, it doesn't have a scent at all, which is my favorite part about this. It has zero scent. And I like that because sometimes when you wear um, perfume or body lotion, you don't really want a scent to clash with that anyway. So I like that it's unscented. So the price, talked about that. Right now it's going for $11.99 on Amazon and on their website, um, which it says it's on sale. I think it's usually like $17.99 on their website, um, which that's pretty high, but for $11.99 and it's on Prime, I don't think that that's a bad deal. Okay, third question, how well did it keep me dry? It didn't. Um, and I haven't really been sweating a lot, but if I am outside and it's a warmer day and I've gone for a walk, it is, you know, you do perspire. I think that we all know by now, if you're using a natural deodorant, some of that is just bound to happen anyway because it doesn't have the typical chemicals to keep you from sweating. So that's not really a problem for me, but just as an FYI, you are gonna sweat with this. How did it smell after a full day of wear? So going back to the scent, it doesn't have a scent, so that part didn't matter. I didn't notice any BO or anything like that. Now disclaimer, because we are in quarantine, I'm not moving around, I'm not moving as much, um, but I really didn't notice that I had like a funk or anything like that. Did it stain? So it claims that it doesn't stain. I have not noticed any staining myself. Um, like I said, I've been wearing it for about a week, maybe a little bit over. I have not noticed any staining. Um, and then how long did the scent last? Again, there's no scent, so that wasn't a problem there. Workout proof. So again, since we're in quarantine, my workouts have not been the same. Um, I can't really speak to this only because I haven't been able, I, I feel like to give it like a full, like good workout to tell you like, yes, it was awesome or like, no, it didn't perform at all. I did, I've done a little bit of working out here and there, very like either walking, like I said, or um, some lightweight stuff. I didn't notice smelling weird after it, but I don't feel like I gave it like a full, like a full on sweat session where I could say like thumbs up or thumbs down. I really should put all the scent questions like together because I have a question about range of scents. There are none. This is the only product they carry. So you're gonna get this and you're not gonna have a scent at all. Ingredient list. So this is really impressive. It's one ingredient, like it's legitimately just like salt. So um, that was kind of cool. You know it's natural, it's one thing. They're not putting any other additives or chemicals in it. So ingredient list is a thumbs up. Ease of finding it in a store. Most of us aren't going to the store right now anyway. So um, finding it on Amazon, I feel like most people can get that and that works for me. 
You can have it shipped directly to me on Amazon Prime, so thumbs up for that. Did I have any irritation or chafing? No, um, which I was kind of surprised by because it does go on, like once you rub it in and it dries, obviously like it's dry and there's nothing really there. Like it doesn't have a baby powder. It doesn't have anything to give it like a slip so that you don't chafe. Um, so I kind of expected to, but I have not chafed at all. Is anybody else suffering with allergies right now? Like it's insane. And with the coronavirus going around, like the allergy thing is like not cool. Like it makes you go, oh my God, like is this coronavirus? And you're all like nervous about it, but it's just allergies and they need to calm down. Application. Um, this is definitely different than a normal deodorant. Like it said on the package, you want to do it when you get out of the shower and wearing a towel because you're going to get it wet and you're going to kind of probably drip some water down your side when you're putting it on. Um, I don't have a problem with that. It doesn't bother me, but it is going to take you a little bit extra time versus just like putting on a couple swipes and walking out the door. Um, and it's not as easy I would say to travel with and use like out in public if you wanted to reapply um, which is my last question did I have to reapply I have not reapplied this yet again my activity level isn't super high so I don't feel the need to reapply um, but if I did and I was out in public it would be a little bit more difficult it's not like you can just like whip it out of your purse and use it you would have to go to a bathroom get it wet and, and put it on and then even when you're doing that you're probably gonna have some water dripping down the side which may get on your clothes obviously it's gonna dry it's just water but it is a little bit more difficult than a typical deodorant so overall would I recommend this to a friend yes I would um, I really like that it's unscented that's probably my favorite part I like that I haven't had a residue I like that it's gonna last me a long time and those are pretty you know big factors when it comes to deodorant um, especially if you're gonna pay $12 for a deodorant it better last a long time so yes I would recommend this thank you guys so much for sending me this product I'm really glad that I had a chance to try it out again I will leave those links down below make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video